If you're one of the unlucky few who had COVID over the past two years and never fully regained your sense of smell, or maybe you smell burning rubber or things just smell funky and weird, this video is going to be for you. Not only are we going to explain what is happening to you, but I'm going to teach you how to fix it. Now, I had COVID myself, I dealt with anosmia, I dealt with parosmia, I did a lot of research between my colleagues and my own personal research on how to actually fix this, I recommended. And the treatment that I recommend has been working over and over again. So if you follow the steps that I provide in this video, not only are you gonna regain your sense of smell, get rid of that pesky parosmia, that burning rubber smell where things just smell like they're garbage and, and nasty, uh, but you're gonna fully regain your sense of smell. So let's get right into it. Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? How's it going? I'm Dr. Jay Feldman, osteopathic physician, obsessed with natural and alternative medicine. Again, like I said, I had COVID back in June, 2020. It was a nightmare. I dealt with every, uh, all of the traditional symptoms. I had pneumonia. I was doing breathing exercises. I was taking my recommended nutritional supplements. And after two weeks of laying in bed, sweating, I, I lost my sense of smell. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't smell anything. And about a week after that, things just started to smell a little funky. I would go to eat eggs and I would smell trash. I would smell burning rubber. Uh, and all of the smells that I loved and enjoyed just were gone. I, could, I couldn't smell them anymore. Uh, so what to do at that point? I started hitting the Google machine, uh, talking to some experts in the field. And what I learned was what I was suffering from was normal. And a lot of other, not only medical professionals, but people all over the world were suffering, suffering from something similar. But there is a way to fix it. And we're going to talk about that in this video. And that's called smell training. Now, uh, COVID, the virus actually affects the olfactory nerve. So it damages that nerve. And you have to pretty much do your part to repair it. Neuroplasticity is very real. We're able to create new neural pathways that includes in uh, some of our cranial nerves, like the olfactory nerve. So the question is, how do we do that? In order to repair that olfactory nerve, regain your sense of smell, what we have to do is rebuild those neural connections that attach that smell to the comprehension of that smell. So the way I recommend people go about doing this is grab a couple of smells that have a deep emotional connection for you. For me, that's coffee, that's bacon, uh, and that's citrus. Uh, so what I actually did, and here's what I recommend, is grab some essential oils. Uh, essential oils are known for very distinct and smells that you already are very familiar with. You can attach an emotional reaction to. For some people, this might be citrus, like a lemon essential oil. It might be lavender. I would also get yourself some coffee beans. That's a very identifiable smell that a lot of people have a deep emotional connection to. So what you're going to do is you are really going to try and smell these things. And not only to, to smell them and, and smell what they smell like now, but remember what they smell like. Remember what you felt when you smelled them originally. What you used to think when you woke up and you know had a whiff of your morning coffee. You really want to be able to attach that emotional response to that smell. And you're going to do this every day, whether you're able to smell it or not. You're going to inhale and try and attach that memory to what that smell is or was for you. Uh, so it's good to get a lot of different types of smells as well. I'm going to attach an image here so you can kind of know what I'm talking about. There's different categories of smells that you want to train yourself on. You don't have to do all of these right away, but it is important that you start establishing these different smells so that you can increase your range of what you're able to smell again. Now, in order to do this, again, you're going to want to really attach that deep emotional connection and you're really going to want to pay attention, focus, and really just like close your eyes and take a deep breath as you inhale whatever that smell that you're training might be, whether it's the, the jar of coffee or the lemons or the, the lavender essential oil. You're just want to, going to want to inhale it, hold it in there, try and attach that emotional connection to it, and, it, and uh, exhale. Now you're going to do this every day, sometimes multiple times a day, until eventually that smell starts to return. Uh, and that parosmia, that nasty smell, starts to go away. Now for some people this can take weeks, for some people months, for some years. Uh, and it, this does work for most people that I've talked to that are able to do this. 
Again, it's not like we're severing the olfactory nerve with COVID, it's just being damaged by, by the virus. And most people, this goes away naturally. This is something uh, that most people are able to recover from over time. But so for the unfortunate few who have this effect linger, uh, this is very helpful because you don't want to go through your entire life not being able to smell. Uh, and as most of you know, smell is directly linked to taste. So the inability to smell anosmia and the uh, effect of smelling things that aren't there or things that are unpleasant, parosmia, affects your sense of taste. So not only are you, you going to lose your appetite and sacrifice that thing eating, which all of us love, uh, but you're going to hurt it. You're going to be tasting things that don't smell so good. You're going to be eating the things that you love and not being able to fully enjoy them because you can't taste them. So this is something I recommend that you try. If Again, if you're one of the unfortunate few suffering from this, you're not alone. I went through this. Um, many people I've spoken to personally have gone through this. A lot of my medical colleagues have also gone through this. So do your part in training your sense of smell, retraining it. It will come back. Hang tight. Uh, do your smell training. Grab some scents that are of deep emotional connection to you and try it at home. I promise you it will return if you follow the prescribed steps and you do this every day consistently and you're focused on it. If you found this helpful, please subscribe so that others can find it. Please like this video so that YouTube knows that this video is important. We'll show it to others suffering from what you're suffering from. That way we're able to serve more people together, do more good, help more people. And if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments. It means a lot to me and I'll respond. See you in the next video.